presenters this is saro in this video we will learn how to create flower prediction or classifier app using mit app inventor so here you can see that's our app here let me just search something like sunflower in the google okay sunflower and we need to just search use your camera here get that image like that and choose an image and scan that image and now we need to click on that get result to get that uh, flower name so click on get result here you can see the sun flower is 0.4 and other are like lower value with this it means this app product this flower is sun flower okay so let's start click on start new project and my project name is pc plant classifier and okay and you can see that's our screen here it's very simple app okay let's drag and drop by viewer here and we need here some one layout only and that is vertical arrangement here and then make this uh, click on user interface and use one button and one label here like this now we need to uh, make sure this should work arrangement at least height and with this fill parent like this okay and use this button and change that text to get result and change background color this one and make this one font bold make this one 18 and i want to use here some darker and make this text is uh, uh, like uh, white so it will look good yeah and change that uh, label name to something flower info like this you can change that text also to at least 18 okay and make it font bold click on vertical arrangement and make this in a center both like this and change that background color to something like you can say black oh, but i have to change that uh, text color to white like this right uh, and i'm going to use one more level here to make some space here okay Ch remove that text and make something high here to around five percent like this now that is our app we need to drag and drop some component here click on media and drag and drop camera and one more thing camera recorder like this okay now uh, we need here one extension okay uh, and we need to create the model so first let's import the extension so you need to type your MIT app inventor extension and you will get that uh, uh, this one website MIT CML github.io okay click on that and you can see that's the extensions you can see the uh, personal image classifier this one you need to download this AIX file I will give you the link okay in the description go to the MIT app inventor click on extension import extension and import this extension like this and import it now you can see that's our extension we need to drag and drop this extension here like this now you can see that's the web viewer okay now we have to select one web viewer so i'm going to select this web viewer one and you can see the model so we need to import the model so let's create the model first so open new tab and we need to type here classifier.appinventor.mit.edu and open this you can see a uh, no web camera found okay cool now click on that plus icon here okay we need to type a uh, label here suppose sunflower okay and enter and we need to drag and drop some sunflower images okay i already have that images now i'm going to drag and drop that you can see the sunflower image one and two so i'm going to drag and drop the both images like here you can download all images from uh, the internet related to sunflower and we need to click on again plus sign okay and then suppose we are going to add another rose and then we need to drag and drop rose just drag and drop this here and this one is also rose so like this okay now click on then again plus sign and uh, i have one more flower is lily water lily okay so water lily enter and then let's try and drop that water lily first and uh, one more water lily this one uh, yes both and here right now we have three uh, flower names and their images now we need to click on trend and wait some second now uh, model is trend let me just uh, test this model first okay so uh, let's try to upload one image here this one suppose let's try and draw you can see the rows the value of rows is 99% and we can see the 98.92 confidence 
right it means this model is working now we need to click on export model this is the mdl file now go to the app inventor we need to import that model here upload file drag and drop this model here okay now our model is here now go to the block section now we have to done some simple code here click on personal image classifier whenever this classifier is ready then we will change our label text label one text this one is ready okay just type here ready like this now uh, whenever someone click on that button it means whenever someone capture uh, the image okay then we need to use your click on camera you can see the take picture okay this one like right? and whenever we take the picture after taking the picture we need to move this to like uh, click on the personal image classifier and can see the call classify image data by image this one and we will call that cat image here and then click on classifier you can see the uh, cord classification then we need to call your set label one is text is result but we need to get the only one value so i will use your list and uh, get index list this one select list and we need to because that result in a list and we will get the first value here this one one right now this will work whenever we click on the image but i just don't want to click the image then okay then do uh, then classify i just want to make it just a, as a live okay so for that we need to classify the video data so how we can do that we need to classify the video data so what i can do here go to the design and i will just copy paste this one button here and get result and you can use that cat result to button okay because whenever i click on that so it will take the picture okay then this will classify the image whenever i click on that button so i will get the result instant here okay so that's why get result to button and go to the block and uh, whenever someone click on that button too so i will choose here click on personal image classifier you will find the classify video data this one so whenever we classify it then what will happen got classification that we will get the result in the label simple okay so that's the overall code to classify the result okay so if you have some doubt you can ask me on comment okay so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye